Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is game time. We going right into a brand new match. Uh, we're just going to do the World War III because there's certain troops I'm trying to try out and as they grow. Um, so we're going to go into this match. It is 7653464. If you are looking at, if you're looking for a good match to join, if you guys can find me, let's get to it. This is the one I'll be in. Um, I have a friend that's joined to be Chad right now, so I'm going to try to be something around him. I know Maui's around him. So, let's see. Looking, who do I want to be? You know what? Maui just might work. I think we'll just try for Maui. You gotta go kind of quick with this or things get taken. Let's see if we get it. So I'm going into Maui. Yeah, got it. Okay, so I started one, two, three, four, five cities. And I am right next to... Okay, good. So I do have... Oh, this is nice. Nice. And see this? You got to take this and you got to cut these guys off. Okay, so this will turn red. And this... Let's see if I can just do it. Cut that off. This is that border I'm trying to cut off because this is uh, an active player. Let's see if there's even a player on this one yet. Oh, nope, this player's not even here yet. So that gives me a little bit of time until someone joins it, but that's fine. That actually works good for me. And then we got this one. Uh, this is an active player right here. And this will eventually be an active player too. So what we're going to do, we're going to just cut these off, okay? Um, what do I want? I'm just going to take this dude split them. And... Shoot. And if I can continue getting more of the land, I will. But right now, we're just kind of doing a cut off. So, yeah. A lot of times, people won't declare war on a player. Um, so, if you cut it off right there they won't be able to go after that AI without causing a headache for someone else. And right now at the beginning of the game, a lot of people don't rush too much into it unless they don't know exactly what they're doing. So, okay, so what we're going to be going over is a lot of base setup 101, and I'm going to change my strategy on this one. Uh, my normal troops, I go with my infantry, my national guards, uh, and my strike jets, and then I have an anti-air. So, this time I want to try a different anti-air, well not, not anti-air, but a different jet. Um, I'm going to use the first one they, that they provide us with. They give you one at the beginning, but I don't use them, I don't really play these ones just because they don't do a whole lot of damage against um, actual units, like soft targets and hard targets. They only really good against other um, jets. But you also go against, uh, yeah, pretty much. The only thing they're really good at is, is going against other jets. So, but you can produce them on day one. Oh, look at this! I can actually produce my darn it. But that's fine. We got to try. It. We're gonna make a is are they worth it video. So we're gonna go ahead and start the research on that one. Um, but their qualifications or requirements, um, are different and a lot easier. So if we come here and we look at our air units or fighters, so these are the strike jets that I would normally build. So if I click on that, it does require an air base level two arms industry and the research itself. Okay, the only thing that takes a little bit of time is that air base level two. Not a big deal. Um, but normally I start producing the jets around day, towards the end of day two, beginning of day three. Uh, but we're gonna go with these ones. And so as you see, it only requires a, an air base level one, which is easy because we already have that. Uh, we just need the arms industry, so this means and then uh yeah the research and then this means i could actually start producing them well if you look at the day the day's almost gone sometimes they start a map and it's already at the end of the day sometimes they'll even start a map already on day two which is really weird to me 
Um, but yeah, uh, this time it, this day started. So we're, we're going to be going with that jet. Anyways, uh, so what we needed, I always like to, oops, wrong button. I like to do an army base because um, it's super quick. And if I don't have the resources to pump out my jet, then that goes. And then I do want my arms in the stream. I'm going to get that lined up. I am on the security council. So I do have this right here, which enables you to line it up. I usually keep going with this uh, 60 day one. Um, I think this time I went with the $30 one. So it is like takes me up for like half a year. Um, but it's cool because you can line, you can line things up. So come here. Uh, so the arms industry is, is lined up now. That's all I want for that one. And let's see. I want something close to other players so I can use it as an advantage for my airfield. So we're going to go arms industry. Barracks, arms industry, and then my air base. See, I just lined those two up. So right after the army base is done, it's automatically going to start producing the other one. As long as I have the resources. You can line them up even if you don't have the resources, but it will wait until you have enough resources to actually start producing it. So just keep that in mind if you get that security council. Uh, it's pretty awesome you do the same thing with troops too so all right so we got those two cities set up now those are just going to be based for building my air support um can't call them strikes so they're going to be yeah those other jets so this one um i think i'm gonna set it up base my basic and we're going to do some videos based on my normal troops that i use I, I noticed i haven't done a video on those on are they worth it so i'll break down some more details on them later but this is the requirements you need uh you go with the army base for your infantry and a recruiting office because you'll need two of those for your um, national guard and your basic infantry only requires the army base so and then just because uh i like the arms industry because it gives ooh, Look at that. It seems like there's a lot more troops on this one. No. Hmm. I'll have to look into that. It looks like their little list is a little bigger. But right here, um, by building these, every level you get an extra 10% of the resources that it provides. And on your main cities, it, it really makes a big difference. Um, so, yeah. I'm actually going to put that in. I like to put that on all of them. Gives them a nice little boost, especially towards the beginning. So again, we're going to go army base, uh, recruiting office, and then an arms industry. Um, okay, so that's two of those. And I had five cities, and here's my last city right here. And so again, we're going to go army base, for a recruiting office, and arms industry. Gives a nice little boost of resources at the very beginning. Um, Okay, so then what we're gonna do, we're gonna get ready to take some cities. I like to take these AI cities as soon as possible because that's just resources that are going in your pocket um, early, early. The earlier you can get it going, the, the better. So, um, and then remember each Providence over here, at the very bottom there, like just having that one Providence gives me a 15 to manpower and uh, extra 60 bucks in my pocket so um which is nice all these add up so yeah getting all the providence is important especially with the cash even the manpower if you produce a lot of troops like i do you'll need a lot of manpower but the cash always seems to dwindle at the very beginning of the game later on in the game i usually have so much cash i can't spend it fast enough. so yeah these are good and then i'll have him stop right there and that will be three and this is a toad artillery i'll do a video based on them and since we are in um this regular match where it's based day by day let's go to our research so we already started research on our jet and see it's almost done only took the uh, 30 minutes but 
times for it's only seven minutes so we gotta go start our little slack in here a little infantry is gonna take a minute um but in game it's like 20 seconds and then we'll go ahead and we'll start our, oh see that i don't have enough resources to do that dang you can always go to the market i try not to do this a lot at the very beginning because um yeah you need all the cash you can have at the very beginning but we need to get that research in so we're gonna hit that that's a lot of money to drop but i think it'll give us what we need okay and you always start with three you they always give you three in the cash spots the gold is always going to be there because that's how they want you to spend your gold and and get you know spend your in-game money uh but the cash um you always start with three unless other players decide they want to start selling uh then you will find that so i'll go back to research and see if we can get this sucker going now yep we can and his in seven minutes uh the jets are almost ready we can start lining them up if i have enough resources hopefully i do uh because that will get me just going right away see we already started the little thing so let's go over here as long as the building is in production you can actually get the jets lined up without it being done if it's not in production yet it won't let you put it in yet but once it goes into production then it'll allow you to line that up see he's already blue uh, so i can click that and once that building is done i will then have four lined up in my queue so yeah pretty awesome so yeah and then it's just be pretty much a waiting game and letting them fly around once he let's see Ooh. Where are you all right um okay you i'm trying to get a good plan of where i want to send my suckers all right I'll just grab you, and we are going to have a meet over here. No, no, you're not going. I don't want you going through the water. I'm trying to get them group, so I want them to land on the exact same spot. And I will put four right there. That'd be nice. We got that going. Okay, and all the buildings are set up to produce what I want them to. Um, now, so I got that. Now, what we want to do is get a good anti-air uh let's see if i go i like my normal one the problem with this one is it requires the green and the blue resource which is supplies and components and it requires a lot and it's pretty even none of them are really offset so let's see if we go over to ground go support and you click on them see that right here 1400 so it is quite a lot they are they are definitely a good troop um now i'm debating if i want to go with them but do i want to try a new one see this one this one's cool but it doesn't stand a chance against helicopters and so that's a big downfall to me and it will not attack any soft or hard targets it just won't it's only strictly air uh it has a bigger circle uh it can cover more ground but it's only meant for jets so uh and then this one's only pretty much built for missiles which <laughs> um being in this map and not an apocalypse map i don't really see a whole lot of missiles flying around um, so I think I think we'll stick with our regular one because overall it's the best one um, But I'll make a video based on that and once I get these leveled up, I'll be able to really uh, Explain how these work. So Yeah, I Don't have enough resources gosh Oh, I don't want to spend any more money. I'm gonna need the money. Okay, so these are all producing is my yep my national guard is almost ready in three minutes it will be ready so then what i do 
is I will take all the other building. I will take all the buildings like this one. I will have it start on one National Guard, and then by the time that building's done, my National Guard will be done. It will automatically go into producing jets. Um, this one, I still have to build a whole thing. So I'll line this one up with about two National Guards. This one, two National Guards, and then this one and this one, also two National Guards. Uh, just because it's good to have the numbers right away, I'll group, I'll eventually group all my strong troops to go take cities. But then at the very beginning, my National Guards are just little babysitters. They're going to sit on the city and just make sure it doesn't rogue for me. Um, and that's kind of how the first four days go uh, once i get that set of national guards coming through then i will go straight into my anti-air i always focus on jets so this one will do nothing but jets and this one eventually will do nothing but jets and then i only have the three actually producing troops so one of them i will set up to do my anti-air and then the other two i will set them up to do my uh infantry and switch between uh, National Guard as well. So that's kind of the technique I will go with. And um, it pays off a lot. If you don't get your troops killed, you can get by like day 20, you can have over 100 troops at your disposal. So it's, it's kind of neat. You just kind of got to watch everybody and uh, really kind of baby your guys. Make sure they don't get hurt. Um. Yeah, and I will probably go into building a bunch of these. That way we can go through the idea of these. These are pretty cool, especially in the map that I'm in. This map, the World War III times four. Uh, every day clicks over and opens up something new. So if you hit on the research, see, I only have day one open up. So day three, there's nothing there. I have to wait till day five to be able to get this. And we're still on day one. So I have to wait till day five. And each day is six hours. So yeah, that's that's two, 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 two full days. I Almost two full days and I can start producing the next level. And then I can't actually do another upgrade on them until day 12. Oh, it gets crazy. Yeah. I like my uh, infantry, but on this map, I can't get them mortars until day 22. So, um, that means I really got to work with something else in the meantime. So, with that being said, I usually go with those towed artilleries because they're kind of, they're, they're overall pretty cool. All right. I will give you guys updates on this map and look forward to us for are they worth it and we'll go into full details on those troops that I'm going to be focused on uh, to help everybody learn and we'll branch out together and, and we'll make this uh, poppin. I noticed that uh, there's a lot more change in the matches. I do have a video coming up on this update. You see that resource right there? He's kind of floating. It's a little more accurate. It's bright. Um, that's definitely a big update that they did. Um, so just keep your eyes open. I got all those coming. So hit that subscribe and hit that like and follow us. Uh, and I will check you guys next time.